Hello and welcome to this video which is meant for students studying the AQA GCSE computer science course and in particular I'm going to focus on paper one of this course in this video, talk about how it works and some of the specific odd important aspects of it and also introduce my set of videos which covers this course. So we're looking specifically at the 8525 qualification, these codes you'll see for every course you do, they're just to uniquely identify that particular qualification because new ones come along, old ones are withdrawn and so make sure you are definitely studying 8525 to watch my playlist and to watch this video. Now here are all of the topics, there are eight distinct topics, some longer than others of course and the breakdown is the first two are for paper one and the final six are for paper two, seems a bit of an unfair breakdown but paper one is a big one, so the algorithms which is a relatively short topic but programming is quite big and requires a lot of effort so it does work out 50-50 in the end, both are worth exactly the same, both papers are the same number of marks. Just to note on topic 7, databases and SQL, SQL is not a programming language and so that's why it isn't in paper 1, it's only in paper 2. So let's focus on paper 1 and its intricacies, the full title is computational thinking and programming skills. So it's not just programming, you've also got to apply your problem solving ability and apply some theory as well. Now this exam is quite a long one, the actual exam paper is 2 hours and is worth 90 marks. The second paper is a little bit shorter but is worth the same number of marks. This doesn't mean you've got sort of half an hour spare if you are doing a minute a mark but for some of the longer questions it will take longer than they've got marks allocated. So basics for this exam, if you have got an exam coming up soon, you must have black pen, a pencil, a rubber and a ruler at a minimum. Have backups, of course have a sharpener if you need one, but importantly calculators are not allowed in this exam. And paper one, because it is programming, AQA have specified you must study one of three languages, Python, C Sharp and Visual Basic. So you should know which one you're doing. The actual paper one is a little bit different depending on what language you're doing. It will say on the front page you must answer in X language. Python 3 by the way is just Python version 3. Version 2 was taught a while back but isn't really anymore. And the structure of the paper will vary a little bit. There are no sections, it, it's just a mix of different topics and questions. It will tend to ramp up so the longer questions towards the end will be harder than the longer ones in the middle. But approximately the breakdown will be about 10% just recalling theory, so multiple choice is used a lot in this paper. Not all of it is recalling theory though, because some of it will be for applying theory, which is much more, it's 40% of the paper or so. This might be where you say, do a bubble sort, or you find a logic error and talk about it, or do a trace table, something where you're actually applying some knowledge, that's quite a big chunk of the paper. But the biggest component will be actually designing Programming, evaluating and refining code. So those four words may not be that clear. Designing is where you have to actually think about how you're going to approach a problem. It might give you a scenario and you've got to interpret it. That can be doing a flowchart, doing pseudocode. It can be evidenced in some of your longer answers. Programming is where you write some code and there are going to be quite a few questions of those in paper one, so be prepared. Evaluating is where you do some testing, maybe a test plan, maybe a trace table. And refining is where you make something better. Maybe an algorithm is inefficient, maybe it's got some errors in and you've got to rewrite it to make it better. Now just if you are going into this exam soon, I will just want to talk about the code a little bit because that is important you are aware of how this works. So code will be presented as examples in either AQA pseudocode but also program code. So you might see one or the other dotted about the paper. I've got a separate video on AQA pseudocode because it's something I really want you to be aware of. You don't need to learn it and study it in detail, but you must be able to interpret it, occasionally apply it as well. But program code is something you've got to learn and it'll be Python, C Sharp or Visual Basic. So there'll be two types of longer questions in paper one and they both relate to actually writing some code or writing an algorithm. If it says write an algorithm, you can answer those questions in flowcharts, pseudocode or program code. You can answer it almost any way you want. You can't do it in written English, it's got to be a relatively formal representation, but it doesn't need to be program code. But there are going to be quite a few, maybe four or five-ish questions which are write a Python, C-sharp, 
Visual Basic program, depending on what paper you're doing. And you must answer in the language you have studied. So you can't answer in a flowchart, can't answer in pseudocode. And there are going to be more of those than there are the writing algorithm questions. Now, for those writer program questions, it's important you realize that marks are given not just for your actual solution, but your approach to a solution, but also programming style. Are you using meaningful variable names? Are you using indentation? That will give you a few marks. And also, it does say you've got to have correct syntax, which you do. But if you make a minor error, maybe you capitalize something when it shouldn't be, maybe you forget a colon, that is not generally penalized by the examiner. So how do you prepare for all of this? Well, first of all, there is theory. A lot of it is applied theory, but it is still theory, and you've got to know it. And so use the specification to do this for all your subjects, not just this paper, not just this subject. This is a document, all exam boards publish on the website. A lot of the actual PDF is not needed to be read by you, but the subject content part is important because it says exactly what you need to know. AQA for computer science at least are quite good. They define a lot of things for you. It kind of gives you a lot of information on the various topics, which is nice. And because there are gonna be so many questions requiring programming knowledge, you need to go in knowing the key constructs in your programming language. So, you know, are you able to do selection? Can you use loops in iteration? Can you define a subroutine? If you can't, you need to urgently go away and revise that if you're just before your exam. It's not like learning a brand new spoken language, which takes years and years and years, potentially. A programming language can get picked up quite quickly and you can memorize how to do certain things. Of course, you've got to practice it too, but you may not have that luxury of time, but you can still revise it. I've seen too many people make the mistake of not bothering revising for paper one because either they think they're too good or they're too bad at programming and they don't really see the point. Everyone across that spectrum must prepare hard for paper one. And one of the ways you can do this is trying as many of the harder questions as possible. Things like trace tables, things like the writing algorithm questions, they need extra practice. And I've got separate videos on both of those topics that will get linked in the description. And just finally then on my videos, so I've got a playlist which covers all of the paper one content. Actually, this playlist is an older one. So make sure you're seeing the 8525 one. That's the up-to-date one. And I hope you can use this both to learn the content if you are say in year 10 or early year 11 and still learning the new stuff. But also I hope in particular, right before the exams, they're good revision content, even up to you know days before, they should be helpful. But a lot of the legwork is done early on when you're learning programming. Now Python's the language I know best, so I've got some videos on it. I've got a set of videos linked in the description, but also there's a book I co-wrote by CGP, which again will be linked in the description. But if you're watching this right before your exam, it's not too late. You can't learn the whole language perfectly, but you can pick up the basic concepts if you watch videos, try them quickly. It's much better than nothing. The final thing I'll say then is if you have got an exam for paper one coming up soon, I wish you all the best of luck and I hope it goes really well.